Hi yogis, welcome to your flow practice. No props are needed today, but you're always welcome to have a book or a block with you if you need to. Make your way into a seated cross leg and rest the back of your hands down on your knees, palms facing upwards, close down the eyes. Let's take a few moments here. Let yourself orientate to the mat, to my voice, and of course to your body. Try and soften any gripping that you might have going on through the inner thighs. Let the low body be sturdy and stable. And a sense of lightness through the upper body. Wherever you are in your breath cycle, exhale completely to empty. Take a long but deep breath in all the way to the top. Part the lips, quietly and slowly exhale back to empty. Pause down there. Seal the lips, long and deep breath in all the way to the top. Part the lips, audible, firm and fast breath out. Seal the lips, breath in, open the eyes. As you exhale, come up and over onto your all fours. Inhale, belly drops, heart lifts, tail lifts. Exhale, press the earth away, round and dome. Inhale, neutral spine. Tuck the toes, down dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Try to resist the pedaling of the legs, the shifting, to settle into stillness. But feel free to have a fairly generous bend in your knees so you can get long in the torso. Take a full breath in here. Tone through the back of the throat. Ujjayi, exhale. There'll be an audible sound. It'll be subtle but present. Inhale, rock forward to plank. Keep pressing the earth away and hugging the upper arms towards each other. Exhale, down dog, up and back. Two more times. Inhale to plank, just warming the wrists and the shoulders. Try not to drop the head. Exhale, down dog, up and back. Last time, inhale, plank. Take it back. Inhale to plank. Knees or no knees, deliver your belly all the way down to the earth. Press the tops of the feet into the mat. Hug the elbows close. Bhujangasana, cobra pose. Keep it low. Keep your chest lifted and then float your feet. Hands stay down though, please. Hold, full breath in. Exhale, child's pose. Knees together or wide is your choice. One breath only. Meet me in downward facing dog. Roll forward, tuck the toes. Settle in, full breath in. Let it go. Right leg will float on your inhale. Take the knee to nose, tiger curl, rock forward, exhale. Scorpion dog, so it's three-legged dog with a bend in the right knee, roll the hip open, knee to nose. Step it through, stay on your fingertips, fingertip lunge, look forward, big breath in. Exhale, light landing, down dog, Adho Mukha, exhale. Left leg will float, breath in. Knee to nose, curl. 
Scorpion dog on the exhale, roll the hip open. Knee to nose curl. Step it on through, fingertip lunge, inhale long. And down dog, quiet landing, breath out. Rock forward into plank. Knees or no knees, Chaturanga Dandasana. It's cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, roll it back, Adomoka down dog. Gaze to your hands. Step or float to the top of your mat. Inhale when you get there for a halfway lift. Exhale to fold, let it go. Halfway lift once more. Stay for your exhale, don't fold. Take your hands to your hips. Breath in to stand. Keep your hands to your hips when you get there. Soften the shoulders. Without puffing the low ribs forward, catch a bind behind you. And then drop the shoulders away from the ears and pull the fist back, but hug those front ribs in. Full breath in. Bend your knees a little bit as you fold all the way down. Lift the, lift the fist up and away. Three breaths here, just rinsing out the shoulders. Lengthen the back of the neck. One more breath. Don't worry about where your feet are placed. Halfway lift with your mind, look forward. Stay for your exhale, weight your heels. Release your bind, bend your knees, sink your hips, chair. Sit down into the heels heavily. Breath in. And breath out to fold. Down dog for inhale, step it back. Exhale, rock forward, lower down, chaturanga. Heart open. Take it back, down dog. Right leg will float, inhale. Step it through between your hands. Rise on up, crescent lunge, reach with the ceiling. Stay for the breath out, settle. Another breath in. Exhale, hands clasp behind to a bind, but again, don't puff the ribs out, but pull the fists down, breath in. Dagasana, fly with your bind, breath out, hold. Release, inhale for crescent lunge, arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale, long spine, look forward, strengthen the left leg, breath out, pyramid pose, hips up and back, fold. Inhale, bend the knee, look forward. Breath out, standing splits, left leg to the sky, bow down. Left toes, back of mat, fingertip lunge, inhale. Take it back, down dog, breath out. Rock forward into plank. And you can choose chaturanga and up dog, otherwise just stay in plank for those two breaths. And then take it back, downward facing dog. Left leg will float through between your hands. Crescent lunge for the breath in, ride high. Stay for the exhale. Another in. Catch the mind behind. Watch the ribs. Stabilize and fly to Gasana. Back to crescent, toes back of mat, arms to the sky. Fingertips to the mat. Keep a bend in your left knee. Get long here on your inhale, firm the right leg, exhale, pyramid pose, hips up and back, bow in. Rebend the knee, breath in. 
Standing splits to exhale, shoot that right leg high, let your head go low. Right foot to the back of the mat, breath in. Quiet landing, down dog, breath out. And you can choose plank, chaturanga, up dog, or just plank and hold. Full breath in. Exhale, we meet down dog. Right leg to lift, we'll add and play. It'll look more or less the same. Through between the hands, step. Crescent for your inhale, rise up. Dagasana for your exhale, bound and fly, same time. Crescent for your inhale, rise. Hands to the earth, breath out. Long spine, firm left leg. Hips up and back, bow. Bend the knee, breath in. Standing splits, exhale, here we're gonna add. It's a one-legged floating chair pose, so bring your knees and thighs to line, but keep your left foot floating. Option, of course, to drop it down, it's quite hard. Full breath in. Exhale, back into standing splits. Head heavy. Crescent lunge for your inhale, toes to the back of the mat, reach for the sky. Hands to prayer, twist to the right, left elbow, right thigh on your exhale. And stay really connected with your left leg, even though you'll be able to feel the right thigh more. Take one more breath here. Good. Release hands to mat, down dog, step it back. Again, choose, stay, or come into plank, or take your flow. I'm really liking just staying in planks at the moment, working on strengthening through the core and through the shoulders. Meeting back, downward dog. Left leg will float, inhale. Step it on through. Rise high, crescent. One breath out, bind and fly. Back to crescent, inhale. Hands to earth. Get long and strong. Hips up and back. Bend the knee. Standing splits. Inhale for one-legged chair pose. Both feet to the mat if it's too strong. Exhale back into standing splits. Crescent lunge for inhale. Back up. Twist to the left, palms to prayer, exhale. Really connect and firm that right leg. Give me one more breath here. Release hands to mat, down dog, simple step back. Stay or flow, maybe plank, maybe chaturanga. Notice how strong you can make your body. Breath in. Down dog, breath out. Right leg will float, changing it up. Step on through. Grind your left heel and warrior two. Rise straight on up and take some time to settle and organize the body and the shape. Heel to arch is a good alignment for most people. Full breath in. Deep in the lunge, exhale. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior, inhale. Come in for side angle, either forearm to thigh or fingers to mat. And then take your left arm straight up to the ceiling, not overhead just yet, straight up. And then lean back into the back body. Breath in. Begin to reach your left fingertips overhead, extend the side angle. Full breath in. Wrap your left arm around your low back. Option full bind here, some of you might take, or just stay here in the half bind. And again, just press back into the back of the ribs. Lengthen the back of the neck. 
Scoop the belly. Full inhale. Exhale, release the bind, frame your right foot with your hands. Pull your left foot in about a third, straighten your legs, drop the heels, bow down. Halfway lift for breath in, square the chest at the front. Take your left hand inside on top or outside your right foot as you take your right hand to your hip. Begin to open the chest to the right side wall. And notice if that left shoulder kind of rolls forward and you want to keep the shoulder blade drawing down the back. Option to reach your right arm to the ceiling. Try and lengthen your right side body. Weight your left heel. Take a big breath in. Exhale, hands down and fold. Press down into your feet. Inhale, rise all the way up, arms to the sky. Take the hands behind. And you've got some choices here. Either catch the bind that we've been playing with already or go on in for a reverse prayer behind you, one or the other. Take a breath in, pull your right hip back. And as you exhale, firming your right thigh, start to fold. Pause halfway. A little bend in your right knee is good. Take another breath in, get longer. Exhale, maybe, just maybe, you can fold deeper. And you can totally have your hands on the ground if you're a bit wobbly. Let the back of your neck grow long, head heavy. Stay low, release your hands either side of your right foot. Standing splits, left leg to the sky, inhale. Take a bend in your left knee, reach back with your right hand for your left foot. And if you can't do this, just stay in your standing splits. If you have the bind, keep it a standing splits bind. So fold as deeply of the torso over the right thigh as you kick your left knee to the ceiling. Full breath in. As you exhale, release the bind, kick that left leg as high to the sky as you can. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward, left leg still lifted. Exhale, step your left foot outside your right. So you're in a cross leg forward fold, bow. Squeeze your thighs, rise to stand, reach on up. Kali Mudra, hands interlace, first fingers release, thumbs cross. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale to center and over to the right. Inhale to center. Uncross your legs, palms to prayer, breath out. Reach for the sky, inhale. All the way down to fold. Half away, lift breath in. Exhale, fold. Step, step, down dog or plank. Flow or be still. It's working out as you go what feels best for your body. Every day is a new day. Left leg will float when you're ready. Step it on through. Warrior two is where we're going. So really, again, take the time to organize. It's worth it. Settle in. Take a full breath in. Settle deeper, exhale. Flip the front palm reverse to your inhale. Side angle, forearm to thigh, all fingers to the ground. Right arm straight up to the ceiling. And then again, just start to lean into that back body. Take a breath in, reach. Exhale, extend right arm overhead. Wrap the right arm up and around the low back and either maybe stay there or go on in for a full bind. Power up the right leg. Full breath in. Exhale, release the bind. Frame your left foot. Pull your right foot in a touch. Drop the heel and bow. 
Take a half lift. Right hand inside on top or outside the left foot. Left hand to the left hip to start. Keep the hips square, but spin the chest. So stay long in the left side body. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you unpeel that left arm to the sky. Full breath in. Exhale, release and fold. Press into your feet all the way to stand. Keep lifting your kneecaps as you go, reach high. And then go ahead and choose a bind behind you, either hands interlaced, reverse prayer, or even just knuckles together. Set up on your breath in. And begin to fold to the breath out. A little micro bend, left knee to protect the back of the leg. Length is your priority over depth. Maybe you can soften the back of the neck. Head heavy, hands to mat if you're too wobbly. Release your hands either side of your left foot, standing splits, right leg to the sky. And you're either going to stay here or bend your right leg and grab your right foot with your left hand and then kick that right knee as high to the ceiling as you can as you tuck chin to chest and try and get your forehead as close to your left shin as you can. Breath in. Those with the bind, exhale into standing splits. You might find you can go deeper. Place your right foot down to the outside of your left fold. Squeeze your thighs together, inhale, rise up. Kali Mudra at the top. Exhale, side bend right. And to center. And left. And to center. Hands to prayer, feet uncross. Inhale, reach high. Exhale to fold. Halfway lift here. And let it go. Plank, chaturanga. You choose yogis. We're going to be in down dog shortly. See you there. Full breath in. Let that breath go. Right leg will lift. Inhale. Take it between your hands. And then just draw the left knee to the inside of the right foot. And come and sit down. Little crouch. Good. There's a few options here. Reach your arms high on your inhale. Pull your palms to prayer and take a twist to your right, hooking your left elbow to the outside of your right leg. And so this is option one, you can stay here. Nice place to be. Some of you might have a side crow practice. If you do have a side crow practice, go ahead. If you're like, I don't know how that goes, keep in your twist. You want to keep that left elbow to the outside of your right leg. Drop your hands down, shoulder width. Your arms will be like chaturanga. Pick your bum up and sit your right hip on your right elbow. Stay looking towards the left. Maybe your feet hover. You can play around with your legs. You might split them, keep them together. Grip into your fingertips and breathe. Nice to try this at home. Falling is not as embarrassing. Full breath in. Making your way down if you're in your arm balance. Together on your inhale, reach your arms high, untwist. As we exhale, hands to mat and lift the hips, roll over your left toes, very short pyramid stance, bow the head. Take your hands to your hips as you rise all the way to stand. And then bring your left knee to your chest, left knee to chest. Keep your hands to your hips. Kick your left leg behind you. It's like Dagasana. Pause. Lengthen your right side body. 
Big breath in. Exhale, take it back. Down dog. You can flow, you can be still. I would probably just pause in down dog though. When you're ready, left leg to lift, last side. Send it between the hands. Bring the right knee down to the inside of your left foot. Reach for the ceiling. Inhale. Palms to prayer as you twist to the left. And now either staying here or finding some arm balance, you choose. Again, arm balances, hands to match. Bend the elbows. The upper arms are a support. They're a shelf for the leg. And just lean in, commit and trust. Look towards the left foot, split the legs. You can play around here. When you're done with your arm balance, come out into the twist. Together, inhale, we untwist, arms to sky. Exhale, hands to mat, roll over those right toes, short pyramid stance, bow in. All the way to stand, reach up. Pull palms to prayer, right knee to chest. Take the hands to the hips, narrow the elbows. Dagasana, kick it back. Let it go, down dog. Rock forward into plank. Lower your belly all the way down. Interlace your hands behind you, catch a bind. Narrow the shoulder blades, draw them down the back. As you inhale, lift your head, lift your chest. Maybe float your legs too. Full Shalabhasana. Take another breath here, big breath in, lift. Exhale, let everything go, right cheek to mat. Firm the belly, come back to square, to neutral, catch a bind in habitual way behind. Inhale to prepare and lift. Option legs two. Let it all go, left cheek to mat. Come to center, belly scoops in. Take a bend in your knees, reach back, catch your ankles or your feet, and you can do Shalabhasana or Cobra again. Inhale to prepare, so lift the feet to the ceiling, kick the feet back, but pull the hands as you lift up, breathe. So there's a kicking back, a kicking up, big for the shoulders. Full breath in, exhale, you can bring that down. Maybe make a pillow for the forehead with the stacked hands. Hands either side of the ribs. Moment in child's pose, just a moment. And back to down dog. And notice how this down dog feels from the beginning of the practice. Gaze to your hands. 
And make your way through to a seat. You can jump or just step. Both legs long out in front of you. Arms down by your side, sit tall. Draw the 10 toes back towards. Take a breath in. Press the back of the legs down into the ground as you exhale, fold forward. So keep trying to hug the thigh bones back into the hip as you reach the crown of the head closer to the toes. The length is important here. Notice if the shoulders are up by the ears and the neck has disappeared. Lengthen the neck. Two more breaths. Maybe you reach for your feet. Maybe you can drop your forehead down to your shins. One more breath. Inhale to come up. So I want you to choose here if inversions aren't really for you, come on down to the back of your body and take a bridge pose and then a twist. If you quite enjoy inversions, so getting upside down, you can be on the back of your body and you can take shoulder stand. Most of you uh, probably know what that is. If you're not sure what that is, I'll show you in a sec. But you can also do your shashasana, your headstand. So you're at home, you might want to take your mat up against a wall or indeed just start practicing headstand in the middle of the room. Those of you who are finding their way into your headstand, interlace your fingers, pinky fingers align, elbows no wider than your shoulders, roll to the outer edges of your arms, drop the crown of your head down to the ground and cup the back of your head in the hands, come to your tiptoes. And then you need to stack your feet, uh, your feet, your hips up over your shoulders. Don't kick up. If you kick up, you will go over. Try and just bend your knees and hug your thighs to your chest, feet are floating. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you play with just one leg lifting. It might come down. Maybe the other. Maybe both. Keep pressing into your forearms and pulling the shoulders away from the ears. The belly is strong. It's so important the shoulders stay really stable and engaged here. So those of you in your headstand, you're going to stay there for a little while. And then when you feel like you're done, you'll come down into child's pose. Those in bridge pose, again, you can enjoy that for a few breaths, then come onto the back of your body, take a twist. And if you are inverting and wanting to do a shoulder stand but not sure, lie on your back, lift your hips, hands support the back body as the legs elevate towards the ceiling. So a few options. You should be happy with what you've chosen. Probably just another two breaths wherever you are. Headstanders, if you're not in a child's pose already, take your way there, have some time. Bridges, little twist after bridge can be really good. And if you shoulder standard, just lie on your back with the soles of the feet to the mat. you're happy playing and you want more time, you can just kind of switch the video off and go off on your own now. Otherwise, everyone make your way to the back of your body. Slip your legs long down the mat, take your arms down by your side. Again, just like with every posture, take some time to organize, to be comfortable and settled and open. When you're happy with the physical shape, lean into your breath. Take a big breath in. Part the lips long, slow and quiet. Breath out like the stream.
Take a big breath in. Mouth open, audible, fast breath out. Take a breath in. Seal the lips. Natural breath out, maybe some tone, maybe some sound. Release any control of the breath, any tension of the body as you settle into this final, most important posture, Shavasana. And yogis, you can stay here as long as you like. It's open-ended when I leave you here. So of course, thanks for your practice as always. Namaste.